Hi guys and welcome to another Ubuntu tutorial. Today we're going to look at installing Shell in a Box onto Ubuntu Server 11.04. Shell in a Box is a way of remotely accessing your Ubuntu server from any web browser. To get started, what we need to do is download the download packet, download the installer from the internet. Before I do that, I need to move that out of the way so I can see the link. What we need to do is wget http shell in a box dot Google code dot com files shell in a box underscore two dot one zero hyphen one underscore i three eighty six for um thirty two bit servers dot deb and it's downloaded. The next thing we need to do is install it. To do that, we put in sudo apt, no, sorry, dpkg hyphen i for install. And then we want, if I can do that. Show in a box underscore two dot one zero hyphen one underscore i three eighty six dot db. Hit return. Enter your password for sudo. Great, it's installed. The next thing we need to do is change the port that Shell in a Box uses. By default, it uses port 4200, which means that you'd have to put in the IP address of the server, semicolon 4200, which isn't ideal. What we're going to do now is make it a bit simpler by changing it to a standard port which will be port 443 which is used for HTTPS or hypertext oh, I don't remember <laughs> yeah let's let's um, edit the configuration of this what you need to do is sudo nano forward slash etc default shell in a box Okay, in here, you'll see, if I bring my mouse out, show in a box port 4200. What we want to do is change this to port 443. So navigate down, oh, let me press the more buttons here, into the file. Oh. and press Control X to exit Y to say you want to save changes and press return don't change the file name because you'll mess it up and there you go last thing we need to do is now restart show in a box to do this sudo invoke rc dot d Shell in a box restart. There you go. The reason we just restarted that is to make the changes 
we made to the configuration file take effect. So what we can do now is have a look at show in a box. If I try and get my browser to fill a bit of the thing I'm using to record. So now we need to go to the IP address of our server, but first we need to put HTTPS 10. Dot, or the IP address of your server. For me it's 10.16.1.23.1. If you're on Google Chrome or any other browser, you'll see a window like this saying that the certificate is not trusted. Just proceed. And here we go, we've got our command line. So I can log in here. Okay, here we go. From this window, I can do anything that I can do directly on the server. For example, sudo apt get update. Okay, it seems to have crashed, but you get the idea. I can obviously go in and do anything I can do on the server on Show in the Box. And this is really useful because, you know, you don't want to be walking up to a server in a comms room or wherever to do stuff on it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and look out for more coming very soon.